Welcome to GoodBit. In the last video, we talked about distributed ledgers and blockchain technology. Today, we're going to be talking about an ambitious project that aims to greatly expand the use cases for blockchain. Now, it's time for Ethereum 101. Let's get to it. Bitcoin was created to disrupt the payment systems we use every day, an update to money itself. But it was also the first successful application of blockchain. Ethereum took the bones of Bitcoin's decentralized blockchain and created a whole new organism. While the goal of Bitcoin is to decentralize money, the goal of Ethereum is to decentralize everything else. The way we build businesses, send and receive information, own things, and more. In this video, you'll learn what Ethereum is, how it works, what a smart contract is, and finally, how we might be able to use Ethereum in the future. Unlike Bitcoin's anonymous founder, Satoshi Nakamoto, we very much know who the founder of Ethereum is. His name is Vitalik Buterin, or Vitty B for short. No, not, not really. In order for us to understand what Vitalik made, first, we have to take a couple steps back. Bitcoin is great because it's decentralized. Using Bitcoin, you can send money to anyone, anywhere, all without going through a third party like a bank. Important point. This is only possible because of blockchain. Blockchain does away with large, self-interested third parties that often sell your data and betray your privacy. Using blockchain, we can build services that aren't owned by anyone. Instead, they're run by everyone. Vitalik saw Bitcoin as just the beginning, and he thought, if we can use blockchain to decentralize money, what else can we use blockchain to decentralize? And where will people build decentralized applications? That's what Ethereum is, the place where people can build decentralized services and applications. Think of Ethereum like a huge plot of land where people build things. You could use it to erect buildings, pave parking lots, design a giant roller coaster, whatever you want. Sure, you have to pay to use the land, but you can build whatever you want on it. Ethereum is the land, coders are the architects of new buildings, and all the restaurants, skyscrapers, and parks are decentralized applications on the Ethereum network. Okay, but metaphors aside, how does Ethereum actually work? Ethereum is made up of computers all around the world, each owned by different people. These computers combine to work kind of like one huge computer. This huge computer Frankenstein thing Etherstein works just like any other computer. It runs applications. Anyone can run applications on it, so long as they pay the people providing the computer power. These people are called miners, and they're similar to the miners we talked about in the Bitcoin 101 video. But the difference is, Bitcoin miners verify and record Bitcoin transactions. In essence, they process payments. On the other hand, Ethereum miners execute all sorts of programs any programs that developers build. Now, these programs can take various forms. They can be complex and ambitious, or just a few lines of code. The more complex your program is, the more you have to pay to run it. So what do you pay with? Well, Ethereum comes with its own native cryptocurrency called Ether. People often call the cryptocurrency Ethereum, but it's actually called Ether. When you run an application using the Ethereum network, Thousands of computers all around the world run your application simultaneously. You pay a small fee in Ether to the owners of those computers for their trouble. Those fees help incentivize miners to run the network. Important point, Ethereum is the name of the decentralized computing network. Ether is the name of the cryptocurrency used to pay miners for maintaining that network. All right. We have a decentralized network that acts like a global computer. We have some miners, we have a blockchain, we have a cryptocurrency, we have some popcorn, I hope. I'm starving. What can we actually do with Ethereum? Glad I asked. So I mentioned that Ethereum runs programs. Those programs could be as simple as transfer one ether from you to me, or they could be as complex as, well, they can be complex. One kind of program you can write is called a smart contract. Smart contracts are digital agreements that run on a blockchain. They collapse an agreement and the execution of that agreement into one step. Usually, these are two separate steps. Step one, sign the contract. Step two, carry out the terms. 
Smart contracts take these two steps and combine them into one. Wondering how we'd ever use such a contract? Well, here's an example from the wonderful world of gambling. You and I make a bet for 50 bucks on a basketball game. We write the terms down on a piece of paper and sign. Then my team loses, somehow. Because that's always what happens. Now, I'm a sore loser, and besides that, I think the ref made a bad call during the game, so maybe I refuse to pay you. But what can you really do about that? Not much. Well, you certainly aren't gonna sue me. Suing me would cost way more than 50 bucks, not to mention the hassle. So basically, you won, I won't pay, and there's very little you can do about it. Because remember, paper contracts separate the agreement from the execution. Okay, reverse the tape. Imagine if right before we signed the paper contract, you said, wait, we should just use a smart contract. That would be way easier. You should be the one making this video, you smarty pants. Here's how it would go down. Let's imagine a reputable source like ESPN posts the score of the game on their website after it happens. We could write a smart contract on the Ethereum platform that says, check the score of the game at this specified time. If your team wins, transfer funds to your account. If my team wins, transfer funds to my account. Of course, the contract doesn't actually read like that. In reality, it would be written in computer code. Anyway, we both sign, giving the contract power to move funds. Then we wait. The game happens, the ref makes the bad call, I lose, I'm a little pissed off, but that doesn't matter anymore. The contract kicks into effect on thousands of computers all around the world. It sees the score of the game, executes, and transfers funds to your address. This is an important point. The smart contract took the agreement and the execution of that agreement and collapsed them into one step. Once we agree to the contract, it will execute. That's pretty smart. That, in a nutshell, is how smart contracts work. They're digital agreements that have the power to automatically execute and transfer funds, or potentially information, ownership rights, and more. In the future, smart contracts could be integrated into the systems we use every day. They can make all kinds of processes simpler, like paying your taxes, buying a home, settling your bill with a local mechanic, or even paying off that loan shark you owe 50 grand. All that said, smart contract technology is still in its infancy. There are a lot of issues to sort out before these can make their way into everyday life. But someday? In the next video, the future of blockchain, we're gonna talk about all the crazy and exciting ways people are using blockchain to decentralize everything, from dollars to donuts. Be sure to take the quiz below to test out your Ethereum knowledge, and then head over to the next video, the future of blockchain. I'll see you there.